it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome back to Ye Old Weekly Beauty Chit Chat, the video that I like to upload most Fridays here on my channel where I share all the fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary beauty products that I was loving over the course of the past week. Um, I have a few things to share with you guys today. Um, I'm gonna try to be brief about it because honestly, um, I kind of, I wanna like, I wanna leave the house a little bit today. <laughs> um, I have a few errands to run, um, so yeah. But I wanted to make sure to get this video up. Typically I film this on Thursdays, but um, I just didn't, get around to it yesterday, so this is probably gonna go up a little bit later on in the afternoon. So anyway, hope you're having a great Friday afternoon or evening. Um, as always, everything will be listed and linked in the description box down below, so if you wanna know where to purchase any of these things, price point, yada, 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 um, check out that description box. All right, you guys, let's get into it. Where do we wanna start? Well, I'm gonna start with perfume because that's usually where I start, so it was these two, these two things right here. I'm wearing them right now and I smell so good. <laughs> I mean, I hate to toot my own horn, but I kind of smell like a million bucks. Okay, so what is this? This was one of my recommendations from my um, fall perfume recommendations video that I did on Monday. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. This is Bastide Ombre Marquis. Now this is only an eau de toilette, and I realized that that might scare a lot of people off because typically eau de toilettes tend to be a little bit lighter in their projection. They tend to maybe not last as long. But this, for whatever reason, is an insanely powerful eau de toilette. I don't know if it's the fragrance oils that they're using. I don't know why. But this gives me the same performance as, like, pretty much all of my eau de parfums. So, um, at any rate, if you're scared to get this because it says eau de toilette, don't be. And this is... It's kind of a spendy fragrance, so you know, like you don't you don't need this. You can find other amber fragrances that are less expensive, but this is a really good one, and it's a massive size. Like for the price point, um, this is a massive size. It's 3.4 fluid ounces. I think they have smaller sizes available as well. Anyway, what I did is I paired it with this perfume oil. This is the Namat Vanilla Musk. I shared this in my haul. And um, this is a beautiful, um, I think it's a little bit more, oh, it's so good with this amber, you guys. You, ha you have to try this combo. Um, frick, that's good. Um, this is more of a sweet, I would say, almost cupcake type of vanilla note. Um, it says vanilla musk, but I don't get much in the way of muskiness from this one at all. It really smells a lot sweeter to my nose. Um, anyway, I really have enjoyed this oil. Um, typically, I don't tend to go for perfume oils. I did try the Nest ones, by the way. Nest has some beautiful fragrances in their uh, perfume oils. But I found that the Nest ones just really didn't give me much in the way of longevity or um, I guess oomph, like the oomph I was looking for. This is way less expensive and I think it actually works better than the Nest perfume oils. So if you've never tried this brand, it's at Ulta. Um, and you, I, I think I've even seen these in store. Like I've always seen them and been like, what is that? But then my friend Faith was like, you should try these, <laughs> really good. So I took her up on that offer and uh, picked this up and it's fabulous. So now I wanna try their amber one as well, but these two together, uh, so good, so, so good. Okay, let's do some hair care really quickly because this stuff is actually part of the Ulta um, like hair event that's going on right now. I don't know what, it, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> At any rate, these are both 50% off today, which makes them both, I think, $9.99. Um, uh, a little bit later on this afternoon, I'm actually thinking about heading down to my local Ulta to pick up um, two more of these just to have as backups because they're so good. So this is the Kenra Volume Mist, and this is the Kenra Design Spray Light Hold Hairspray. This is all that I have in my hair today in terms of styling products. And look how much body that volume mist gave my hair. Now, I realize that's probably pretty relative because, you know, I have 57 strands of hair and my hair has been shedding like crazy. I am addressing that. Follow my perimenopause journey if you're curious about that. But I'm really impressed with this volume mist. 
as like just a standalone product. I think it's really great. Um, I'm gonna be pairing it with my uh, mousse products in the coming days. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But on its own, this smells incredible. It works really well on my fine thin hair. It doesn't make it feel heavy. Um, just gives a little bit of oomph. By the way, did you guys notice that the bangs are cooperating today? I think it's maybe because they like grew out a little bit more. Um, so uh, fingers crossed that this continues to like work out this way for me because I do, I do like the bangs. I just don't like how they normally just like stick out like this, you know? That's not a flattering look. All right, this hairspray. Nice light mist. Let's do a little. Nice light mist. Really light hold, you guys. Do you see that? Like my hair, it's not stiff. It almost works as a little bit of like an additional volumizer for my hair, I feel like. Also, why does Kenra stuff smell so good? I know that's not like the most important thing, but I am a sucker for the smells and both of these things smell like a million bucks. So at any rate, these are getting two thumbs up from me and I think I might go pick up a couple more um, just to have as backups. I go through hair stuff pretty quickly. I do style my hair pretty much every single day. So um, yeah, I would definitely go through those probably fairly quickly. All right, let's do a couple skincare updates because I wanted to update on these. I was able to use them both and oh man, these have a much, um, I think these have a much more palatable texture to them than most snail mucin containing products. So this is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Blemish Bursting Toner. This has 95% snail mucin concentrate. So this is a nice lightweight toner. You can see like it's nice and liquidy. Um, I'll also show you on my hand. But this was the other thing that wasn't um, here yesterday when I was filming my video, but it came pretty much right after I put the video up. This is the Peach Slices Snail Rescue Intensive Serum. So um, I, you guys know how I feel about the Cosrx um, Snail Mucin products. I think they're fantastic. I love them. But the texture freaks a lot of people out, especially people like Faith. <laughs> I know she's watching today, so that one's for you. Um, this is, it's not slimy. So I'm gonna show you this serum here. I'm just gonna prove to you that there's no sliminess here. So here it is. Um, it's actually kind of like a thick gel-like texture almost. So look at this. There's no snot. Like it, it doesn't, it doesn't do the gross like snail mucin thing. It just doesn't. So, um, I really like these two. And here's the toner. Let me show you guys the toner real quick. So nice liquid liquid consistency here. A little bit thicker than I would say water, but um, yeah, see how that's just nicely running down my hand here? Um, absorbs very, very quickly. And um, it's it has the same per percentage of snail mucin as the Cause RX. And these are... I think these are a little bit less expensive. I mean, Cosrx isn't that expensive um, either. It's actually on the drugstore side of Ulta. So you can use those Ulta coupons on these products if you're interested. Um, I actually bought both of these when they were on sale and then I saved an additional 20%. So I got a screaming deal on these. But um, even like full price, I don't think that they are horribly, horribly expensive. So loving both of these and i'm glad i tried them out because i know a lot of you are just freaked out by the snail mucin texture these do not have that so i don't know if you want to use snail mucin i really love how hydrating it is it really plumps my skin up um i just have really good results with it and whenever i have any redness like the snail mucin almost immediately makes that redness go away so rosacea i don't know if you have that but it might be worth checking this stuff out so there we go all right um, I finished this <laughs> earlier this week. This is my beloved. I've talked this to death. It's the Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. Um, I adore this product, but I, I thought I had backups. I don't. <laughs> so, um, I'm using this this week and I really like this product. I don't know why I don't reach for this more often. I think this is just so habitual for me that I just like blue bottle get in my hand. Um, but this is the Dermatology Physical Tinted Moisturizer SPF 44. This does have a little bit of a glow to it, but I use powder foundation, so that kills the glow very quickly. And um, it, it stays put on my oily skin. I think these two are probably the very best that I've ever found for, um, 
for oily skin, at least personally for me. Um, I love this one. I think this is this is definitely out of all of the SPFs that Dermatology offers, and I've tried them all. So I I'm actually um, I have I'm an ambassador, an affiliate, whatever with Dermatology. So they have sent me all of their SPFs, and there's a few that I would definitely recommend for a more normal or drier skin type. But this one here, and also actually the Daydream, have been like the best for my oily skin. So um, if you've ever wanted to try them, there's 20% discount code in my description box. So you can feel free to use that if you're interested. If you're not in the market, obviously don't. But um, yeah, I, I really like this one and I think I'm just gonna keep using it. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I already ordered a backup. <laughs> but I am gonna just keep using this because it is working quite well for me. So there's that. Um, okay, a uh, couple of makeup items here just really quickly. I received this Huda Beauty One Coat Wow Mascara with a Sephora order. I think it was when I ordered the I Need a Nude Palette from Natasha Denona. I love this mascara. In fact, I already put it in my cart for the upcoming Sephora VIB sale. This is a fabulous mascara. If you like a lot of volume, but you don't like chunky looking lashes. Um, you know, the lashes that look like tarantula legs. If you don't want that <laughs> type of volume, um, try this. This really separates my lashes beautifully and gives me really nice full lashes without them being chunky looking. Um, I barely even need to like go through them with my lash comb because it combs my lashes so nicely. So it has one of these plastic bristles. I don't normally actually like these wands. Um, I prefer the natural bristle wands. Natural bristle, none of this stuff is natural. But um, yeah, I think this one is a really, really good one. So I'm glad that I got this little freebie. I don't even think that I picked this out. I don't know how I ended up with this, but anyway, thanks Sephora. Um, and then this is what has been on my lips for most of this week. This is the NYX, this is Milky Gloss in um, Cherry Skimmed. Now I think this was a limited edition one, but the good news is that they also have this Ube Milkshake, which they are so similar, right? Like almost identical virtually. Um, the Ube Milkshake is currently available, so um, if you didn't get your hands on this one when I first shared it, you can totally uh, get the Ube Milkshake and it pretty much looks the same. All right, one more thing I wanna share and it's just one last update on the High Smile Teeth Whitening Pap Powder. So I am now almost completely done with this. I have like a few uses left and there's a little bit of powder left there in the bottom. Um, Guys, I have really liked this for very gently um, whitening my teeth. So, like, this is the level of white that I'm comfortable with. Like, I don't want to go, like, much beyond this. Um, but I normally, once a year, will bleach my teeth. I have custom trays, and I use a peroxide gel. Um, but I decided that this year, maybe I was going to try to see if I could get away with trying something just a little bit more gentle because I do have just a touch of sensitivity for the first few days as I am doing the bleaching process. Um, and I don't love that. <laughs> so I was hoping to avoid it. Um, and this gave me a level of whitening that was perfect. Like I don't need much more than this. So maybe, maybe I will never bleach my teeth again, which would probably be a good thing quite frankly for my teeth this is um this is a powder that has like enzymes in it so this isn't a bleach this this doesn't work the way that most bleaching products do for the teeth this actually has enzymes that kind of attack the discoloration on your teeth and then makes it go away so these are our teeth lovely right um anyway you guys that's all that i have for you today um let me know what you're doing this weekend we have many soccer games so that's what i'm doing um yeah let me know what you were loving this week please subscribe if you're new give this video a big fat thumbs up for the algorithm gods and i will see you guys in the next one take care Toodaloo.